Story time. So I took a trip to Miami. I was going to an album release party or an album listening session by Grammy nominated producer Illmind. Illmind has created this community that's called Squad of Nights. That's a Web3 community, uh, NFTs, music for producers, artists, graphic designers, just music enthusiasts for all of us to come together. Um, in this community, they opened up sort of like an album submission portal. Over 300 songs were submitted and out of 300 songs, I wanna say roughly 20 songs made the cut and I made one of the tracks. It's uh, called Squad of Nights, real crazy. Booked my flight, real excited, headed down to Miami. Met up with two other people, shout out to Dom Brady, shout out to BX Boulevard. We, uh, Dom is coming from the West Coast, BX is coming from New York. We were all gonna meet in Miami. So we started like a little side chat before we started traveling. Now, I'm excited, this is midweek. Fly out on a Tuesday, the listening session is for Wednesday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Now, to take a step back, if you remember when I went to the other party last year, they had the aux section and um, I didn't. I was the guy that didn't have the iPhone. I waited online for an hour and I got to the front of the line to play my song and said, we ain't got no cable for, for no Android, whatever, right? This time I feel like I'm ready. Although I didn't have an iPhone, I'm like, I don't have to worry about what, worry about my song being played because this is the listening session. Get on my flight, real excited. 20 minutes into the air, I get a text from Dom. Actually, no. Before I actually got on the flight, there was another message that said, listening session is being delayed. Instead of it being 6 p.m., it's now 8 p.m. So I'm like, all right, whatever, cool. Get to LaGuardia, get through security, checkpoint, shoes off, belt, whatever the extra stuff they have to do to you. Get on the flight. 20 minutes on the flight, I get a text message from Dom. The event has been canceled. I'm like, what? I'm like, nah, nah, nah. In my mind, I'm like, nah, you can't be right. You're probably looking at the Discord message wrong. Instead of it being canceled, it's actually been postponed later in the day. He's like, nah, they canceled it for today, for, for Wednesday, and now it's being pushed into Thursday. Now, I could only get one day off of the job, so I'm like, damn, I'm not gonna be able to stay. I'm like, how is this happening to me twice? You know, first the iPhone, and now the conflict and schedule. I'm already on the plane in the air, mind you. Didn't, didn't book a hotel, didn't have a rental car. I just went out there on some, the artist, artist type stuff and just go with the flow. Cause I'm thinking like by the time we touch down, three o'clock, we eat, we link up, six o'clock is the event, six until whatever. After midnight, we possibly just head back to the airport, sleep there for a couple of hours and then jump on my flight, which was leaving at six in the morning. That didn't happen. So we touched down in Miami. And uh, literally, I don't have anywhere to go. Like, I don't have, I have nothing. I just, I mean, I got my credit card and a little bit of bread, but I have nothing. So I met BX and I met Dom. And, you know, Miami was, wasn't anything like super sexy, anything like that. I guess because it was just the airport and it's the middle of the week. So luckily, there were other squad members out there and we hooked up and it was like, yo, being that the listening session has been pushed back, we booked a studio. And everybody's just gonna come through, listen to some beats, maybe do a writing session, record a little bit. I'm like, all right, cool, we ain't got nothing else to do. So we go to the studio, and the studio I wanna say is called Rebel 11. Now, when I tell you, we pull up to the studio, it's in like an industrial area, and it's like nothing. It's not like a bunch of cars in the parking lot, it's just like a warehouse. I'm like, where are these guys at? Cause you don't, you don't hear anything, like it's just, it's nothing. Ring the doorbell. Lady comes, oh, we've been waiting for you right this way. I'm like, okay. It seemed kind of creepy at first. It seemed like get out because it was like nobody in there. It was just this little lady came to the door. She's like, go straight to the back. So as we coming in, you see the plaques on the wall. You see like straight ahead, it's like a pool table with like a red top. And to the right, when you step through the door, it was like an open kitchen. And they're like, we baked y'all some cookies. Again, I'm thinking, get out. Like why are these people offering us cookies when we first walk into this spot? Whatever. They're like, the next room over here is your waiting room, and then after that, you go into the studio. So still, I don't see any studio type thing. We're just sitting in the waiting room, and you don't hear anything. The lady comes in, and again, she's like, nah, you guys can go in. Everybody's in the studio. Open up door number one, and it's another door now. The entire room is soundproof. It's sound. It's tight. We open up the second door. It's about 20 other squad members in there just jamming. 
dap everybody up, say what's up, where we from, whoop, 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 whoop. Studio was like a buck fifty an hour, but I mean, it was beautiful. Like the board was something out of like Dr. Dre studio, subwoofers in the wall that's like, man, like four feet by four feet, perfect squares. It was just something out of a movie. So we step into the room, Beats is playing, a couple of dudes is freestyling, other dude is like harmonizing, singing some stuff, and I'm just chilling there for a minute. They're playing beats, now all of a sudden, everybody gets hype off this one beat. Needless to say, even though the trip didn't turn out to be what we expected it to be, I met a bunch of super cool people, recorded in like, you know, this incredible studio, and had a chance to step outside of my comfort zone. That was the trip. It was really dope, but I'm also looking forward to the album coming out. So